Hey chat. Welcome to the stream. I hate to start with bad news, but we're going to start with bad news. Um, the game that shall go unnamed. Kokusupasuru. Maybe um, is getting taken down all over the web yet again. And uh, they nuked the VOD on Twitch and I got a copyright strike. Which I think is kind of weird. And um, I guess let me start by saying this is not a hill I care to die on. I don't need the attention. I don't need the stress. They can have the VOD. I don't care. Uh, a lot of you probably downloaded it. Um, were, you know, unfortunately, it would be a good idea to nuke it on YouTube as well. But the Twitch strike is a problem. The Twitch strike is definitely a problem, um, because that that's something that, you know, could end up being a bigger problem down the road, and I don't feel like it's fair, because, one, why is this game forbidden? Two, they don't tell anyone. The person who's doing this is not telling anyone. Someone said, you're doing exactly what they want. Well, what do you want me to do, friend? Um, you don't understand. This is not anything I have. We left it up. This isn't really anything I have control over if the copyright system in this country is completely broken. The problem is, on the strike, they claimed that they think it's me that's distributing it on archive.org. And I've never fucking uploaded it there. Okay, they're going by a, yet again a different name. And they've gone by so many different names already. Different companies. Lots of really, really weird things that don't really... This isn't the right music for this. Lots of really weird things. Um... Yeah, the Collector, it's not the Collector. They said it wasn't. Um, but they keep going by different names, different companies. It says here that... I request that you expeditiously remove this material from archive.org or block or disable access to it. Motherfucker. I have nothing to do with this game being on archive.org. I played the game. So... Here's the deal. I have gotten in touch with Twitch and I have filed a, a counterclaim and I hope this doesn't turn into a bigger problem. Okay, I just don't need the strike on the channel. But, like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? There's nothing here that even mentions Twitch. So I'm not sure how... This is how easy... Sadly, it's not that easy, but... You know, I could probably get this fixed. It's just a matter of, like, this is an unrelated place, and they're giving me a strike on Twitch. So that doesn't make any sense. I hope someone at Twitch, you know, gets this, and they can take a look at it. I've provided plenty of evidence. I even provided evidence of that one time they claimed to be Nintendo to take the game down, which is something that has happened. Um... And other companies, let's let's not forget that they registered their company in a tax haven. We won't talk about that. Um, and that it's like one of those like lawyer for hires that you can just like register something with. So none of this makes any sense. If it was the creator or someone associated with the creator, just tell us why you want the game removed. I mean, it's not going to be a good reason because the game is a work of art and should be preserved, but tell us why. And also, why do you have 30 goddamn names? You're going by a different name every time, and you don't respond to emails. You, people ask, and they disappear. The emails disappear. They don't, they don't get back. So it's really unfortunate. It's very frustrating. I'm sure many of you have seen the Cookies Bustle stuff already. I'm sure you found it online. You know, there's other videos. I'm not the only one, by the way. Like, there's a lot of people that have had their shit nuked because of this. So, 
doesn't seem fair, isn't fun, don't like it, and I hope there's some way to combat this, and I hope Twitch at least takes a look at my case on a more personal level and says, okay, this dude doesn't deserve a strike because we're not archive.org. But I will say to end this topic, if you want to bring attention to something, this is how you do it. You make it a thing exactly like this. If you want something to disappear completely, you're doing it 100% wrong. Because this is exactly how you get people to think about your game. It is the Streisand effect. This, this would be like almost the Wikipedia article. The dictionary entry would have a picture of Cookie next to it. And it's just a game. It's not like anything crazy. I mean, it's just a little like teddy bear girl walking through strange scenarios. There's aliens. It's not like the worst game. It's not gross necessarily. Um, you know, the music is getting taken down. There's some good music in the game. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And it's upsetting. What if that's the point to make the game relevant? Well, if they're doing that, they're also destroying a lot of goodwill because, you know, now people are pissed and it's turned into a problem where, you know, all you have to do is have a bunch of people check the game out. It speaks for itself. But anyway, that's really all I have. Someone just said, not everything is reverse psychology. Well, anyway, thanks everybody. Um, I don't really have a whole lot else to say. Again, I hope Twitch gets my counterclaim and I hope that they, um, you know, I, I hope that they like manage to take into account all of my evidence and be aware that, you know, they are not Nintendo or any of the other 10 names that they claim to be. All right. In lighter news, in lighter news, I found Rubber Band Man. Some of you have seen it already, but I recorded it off a of tape. It's not the best footage, but it's real. It's a real song. Listen, watch this. It's real. Rubber Band Man by Stone Temple Pilots. It's real. I'm telling you. I recorded it off the radio when I was a kid. So I had to play I it on the, the tape. cassette. Hell yeah. Big man. Told you. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's real. It's a real song. What is the context? Well, I was talking about how there was a song called Rubber Band Man from Sun Temple Pilots in the 90s during Corruptions. And people were like, nah, dude, it's another song. It's another band. I'm like, no, 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 I, I definitely remember Rubber Band Man, so I went and dug through my cassettes for hours, and then I found it. I found it on a cassette. 100% um, real, and good for you, and also, you should, um, it's a really good song. It's, I don't know why I can't find it online. It's more lost media, I think. Um, but it's here's um, from what I can discern. I knew the lyrics somewhat, but it's rubber man, or is it rub a man? I'm not sure. Rub rubber man, rub rubber band man, rub, rubber man, rubber band, rubber band man. I mean, it's just come on. Scott Weiland wrote some amazing lyrics at that time. Um, gonna rub you with the palm of his hand. Got a plan. Gonna rub a dub a big man. I think that's probably like satire. Something deep going on there. Got a rubber on his big man gland. So I don't know what that means, but it's a cool song. And uh, I'm glad it's real so I could prove to everybody that it's that it's real. No, listen, listen, here. I recorded it off the radio when I was a kid. I found the tape. Your commitment to the bit. Yeah, yeah. I found it. Hell yeah. Big man. Told you. No, that's... 
that's Scott Weiland's voice. Vinny, you look AI generated. I do, actually. Um, it's weird because my phone had. I was like, is that a filter? And I think my my phone had a filter. Right. And I went to the magic wand. And I turned off. The filter, the face filter, like, like, how, like I turned it off. Why is it still? It's like on by default. I don't want the I don't want the face filter. And it's like a like on the lowest possible setting. And then I checked, I turned it off, I checked, I looked exactly at like an AI again, like the same. And um I have to find a way to turn this off like completely cuz it, it doesn't but I looked a, kind of just like an AI anyway. So I wonder why I wonder why that that is. In other news, Colonel, I have found the diaper chief. It looks like he's blasted one mega brick out the back and has snapped one off in the front. 